Hello YouTube, it's me John Avenger once again and welcome to another update. This is a DVD and collection update that I did. I don't have any Blu-rays. I have to look for some in the summertime. Try to get some more Blu-rays this time because, you know, I got one coming in the mail, but I'll show that in July for Christmas in July. I got this Hard Rock Cafe bag. I'm going to just, you know, because I've never been there, but I got this at a yard sale. I got a couple of these at a yard sale and I got one at the dollar store, so they're not all from the dollar store. I'll start with the one I got at the dollar store. It's a, tri a triple feature of kids' dog movies. They're pretty cute. I saw the first one. This is Pup Star, Pup Star 2, Better Together, and Pup Star World Tour. Some cute little dog movies, you know, from the 2010s. And uh, it's cute. You know, they dub over the voices, uh, you know, but it's not horrible. I'd rather watch any anything like this and the Air Bud sequels or the Air Buddies, you know, spinoffs. Than, than Doolittle or something like that. That's what bad animals talking with bad writing, but this is cute for kids, and I'm, I've seen one, and I got the digital copy for that. Next, I got this one. I, I'm going to do a podcast for this at the end of the month. I enjoy this movie. I don't think it's as good as the first two, but it's not horrendous. It's the only one that's completely CG. There's no hand-drawn animation here, but uh, it's, it's a good one, and this one was only released in Canada in the theaters because, you know, it came out during the pandemic, so... Spongebob, the movie Sponge on the Run from 2020. Yeah, this is a fun movie. It's cute. And I enjoyed this film. I like the first two movies better, but this one's not terrible. It's got a mini movie, deleted storyboard scenes, sing-along music videos, art and crafts, and more. No commentary, but that's what I'm going to do. Spongebob! I love, I love these, this cartoon. This is one of the best nine, uh, Nickelodeon cartoons. Next, I got this one. I know this is a very long movie, Josh. You don't have to say that in the comments. This is longer than No uh, No Way Home. This is longer than Spider-Verse, uh, Cross the Spider-Verse Part 2. This is even longer than The New Mission Impossible. I'm not bullshitting you. This is an hour and fi 157 minutes. Good God, this is long. Zero Dark Thirty with freaking Jessica Chastain. I got it for her. Yes, I know this is a very political movie. I'm not watching it for that. I want to watch it for her performance. Got five Academy Award nominations. I could watch this in the summer to kill time. It's got a big cast. It's got Joel Egerton, uh, Jessica Chastain, Jason Clark, etc., and a bunch of others. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it. It's directed by Catherine Bigelow, and you know her movies are really good. She's way better than Kathleen Kennedy because she doesn't put feminism in her movies. This, I'm going to see it. For the actress and the story, not the freaking political true story bullshit that they always put in these movies where they're like, this movie is inaccurate. This movie's nothing like the, the, what really happened. It's a film, people. Fiction. This is a work of fiction. This is not a documentary. Just to let you know. If it's a documentary, then it really happened. But if it's fictionalized, like Elvis or I Want to Dance with Somebody, it's a movie. They're going to take liberties. Just to let you know. This one I got brand new at a yard sale for a dollar. I'm looking forward to it. It's a sequel to the first one. I like the first one. I thought it was really funny for the time. This is the second one. Barbershop 2. Back in business. See? I like black people. I love watching their movies. Their movies are funny. And Ice Cube is a good actor. I don't care what anybody says. Cedric the Entertainer has been funny since the, the, the Steve Harvey show back in the 90s. Uh, and uh, also it's got a, a hell of a cast. You have... Uh, Eve from the first movie, and uh, Michael Ely, uh, Kenan Thompson, Garcelle Boveas, who's always gorgeous. She was also in the Jamie Foxx show. See, I'm I'm with the crowd. I'm not woke. I love people like this. You know, they, they deserve all the attention they're getting now. It's just, you don't have to color code everything, Disney. This is the only Disney thing I got. It's not a movie. It's the, the cute, the, the cutest, one, one of the cutest new Marvel girls. And I think she's adorable. I can't wait for the Marvels this year. I'm going to see it. To hell with the incels. They're going to burn in hell for what they do for hating people of, of color and people, you know, the women. This is from 2000, 2022, a Funko Pop pin of Miss Marvel. Yeah. Cute little girl that, that, I, that I loved in that show last year. This is, this is the Disney Plus logo. And I enjoyed the show. Iman was perfectly cast. I think she's a cute character. Yeah, they changed her powers, but her and Bruno have a good dynamic. And I like this character being different from Brie Larson's Captain Marvel. And uh, I can't wait to show this. Uh, if I go to Comic-Con and Iman shows up, she could sign it right on the cover. I'm going to keep it in the box because it's worth money. She's so cute. I love you, Miss Marvel. So cute. So that's my little update for 
the month of June. Not a lot, but enough to satisfy my summer needs. I'm going to do some podcasts for some of the, for one of these movies. I'm going to keep that Funko Pop and pin in my new closet. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.